Good day everyone! This is our laboratory presentation about lice on our veterinary entomology and protozoology. Lice are one of the most common ectoparasites that affect both man and animals. They are obligate blood feeders and are highly host specific, meaning that each animal species has one or more unique lice species that affect them. In this video, we will showcase three different lice species and showcase where they parasitize their morphology, and their life cycles. Lice that infest livestock are categorized as biting or sucking based on their mouth parts. The mouth parts of biting lice are designed to bite or scrape the skin or sever small pieces of hair or feathers to ingest. On the other hand, sucking lice have piercing, sucking mouth parts that pierce the skin, penetrate a blood vessel, and then suck blood through a straw-like channel. The first lice in this video is the short-nosed sucking cattle louse or the Haematopinus eurysternus. Cattle have many lice species that parasitize them, which makes differentiation of different species of lice is at most important. Haematopinus eurysternus or the short-nosed cattle louse is characterized by their short heads. The species is widely distributed over the body of the host, but preferred infestation sites are the shoulder, back, neck and dewlap. To differentiate it from the other sucking lice, the shape of the mouth part is to be observed. It is one of the largest slouse currently seen on mammals, at around 4 mm in length. The sample used for this activity was derived from the carabao suffering from pedic pediculosis on the Philippine Carabao Center. The second lice is the bovicola bovis or the cattle biting louse. It is the only species of chewing louse that infests the cattle. The preferred site for this louse is the top line of the pack, especially the withers area, from which it spreads to the rump and pulled area. This lice was obtained from the same carabao in the Philippine Carabao Center along with the first louse, the Haematopinus eurysternus. The third and last lice is the Pediculus humanus capitis. It typically infests the head of humans and is anopleuron, thus a sucking lice. The nymphal stage lasts for 16 to 18 days, including three molts. The female starts laying eggs one to two days after maturity. Body lice live from 30 to 40 days and survive the best at the body temperature of humans. It is different from the uh, thyrus pubis as the human crab louse infests the pubic area of humans. That will be all for our presentation. Thank you. Hopefully you've learned something.